Hello and welcome back to the Quarters Legacy channel. In this video, we'll be talking about this tool called Alt Dupe. That is something I found very useful and personally I found it so interesting that I decided to make a video on it. So um, this tool right here, as the name implies, uh, Alt Dupe, it's used for finding all the duplicates in your system, in your PC. If you're someone who works with a lot of data, um, then chances are you'll really need this tool at some point, okay? It has a whole bunch of cool features. Um, let me just show you because it's honestly easier if I just explain it. So you're going to want to go to this website. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can download it from here, either as an installer or the portable version. I have the portable version over here. Uh, let me just, just open this up. Okay, so let's take a little tour of this software. Now, what this does basically is that it finds and deletes duplicates, right? But it's, it's more than just that. It can do a whole bunch of things. So if you go into search method over here, there's a whole bunch of search methods that we can select. For example, find duplicate files um, based on their properties, their metadata. So we can do a very simple thing where we just delete files with the same name, right? That's a very simple thing. Um, we can also do like extension and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. This is very simple stuff. But let me show you what's what's really cool about this. Because um, if, if you want to delete text files, this is going to be very simple. I don't even need to explain this part really. I'm going to show you something that's that's personally I found very interesting. Finding similar images. Okay. Uh, and there's also one for audio files, by the way. But I'm going to be focusing on images in this particular tutorial. So what you can do here is um, if you have similar images, like let me show you an example. I have this folder here on which we're going to run this tool. Um, so here, so you see this, these, these set of images, they're all very similar to each other. So what I want is essentially to like delete the... Uh, I want the tool to like group these images together and delete uh, the duplicated ones, essentially, the ones that look very similar. I want to, basically this data is kind of like for annotation purposes. Um, I want to use it to train an AI model, but I don't want it to train on an image that looks so similar. Okay, this is like redundant data. I don't want 10 images of the same car. So I want to use this tool to basically delete the duplicates. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use this tool to do. I'm going to use it to find similar pictures. I'm going to use the p hash comparison algorithm. This is going to be the best one out of all of these uh, four images. Okay, um, you can look into the specifics of, of it later as to why it's better. That's a separate story. You can select the match, okay, like how much you want it to match. I recommend you keep this value above 80 because once you go below 85 and 80, uh, then the algorithm, um, it doesn't work so well. Like it might detect a completely different image as the duplicate. So from my experience, you want to stick with like 85 or like 90. 90 is a, is a good start. You can go lower from there later. You can select what image extensions you want to, you know, include. We can include WebP over there and everything else is okay these are all the popular formats okay so once you're done with your search method you can go over here and add a folder uh, okay so i'm gonna select our folder over here um which one was it buses and cars right so we'll do this and we'll run the tool on this folder All right, so now it's done, and basically it throws up this page. It doesn't delete your images without asking you, of course. So it's going to show up this page, and it's going to show you all the duplicates. So what I can do is like sort the duplicates out over here by like you know clicking this. So it, the ones with the most duplicates are shown up here. Okay, so look at these. Uh, you can see that these images are very similar, right? Uh, and I want to like delete these. I want to like just keep one of them and delete the rest. Uh, and of also, obviously, you can keep a 100% match if you want to as well, right? You don't need to, if, if you're not interested in deleting similar images, if you want to find exact images, just keep the match at 100%, right? So now what you're going to do, because I know this is a little bit confusing. So what you're actually supposed to do is come here and do select, and then you have to pick one of these many options. Um, so what you can do is like select, 
select if you want to delete all the duplicates except one um, what you want to do is for example what I like doing is select all the files except the file with the shortest name in the group okay so now um, the one with the shortest you know name is now selected in this case for example this is the original image kind of it has the shorter path the shorter name this one has a longer name because this one came in later so it has that bracket to uh, bracket close over there so this is a useful trick that I find to select all except the file with the shortest name in the group another good option might be to select all files except the file with the most megapixels this helps you uh, retain the one with the highest quality and yeah there are a bunch of other ones that, as well that you can do select all except the first blah 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 right so you can, you can do whatever you want but at, but at, but just do whatever okay the ones that you select are the ones that you want to delete okay so what you once you're done with your selection click on this button process uh, the files and that's it there are a few extra things over here that you can do if you want to like move them to the re recycle bin instead of deleting or if you want to copy them somewhere or move them you have you have all these options but I want to delete them so I'm just gonna do this and there they're deleted so 900, 911 in total so that's it they're all gone I'm just gonna I don't need to search I don't need to save this so yeah this is a basic basically how you use it let me just show you one or two other things you can also add a bunch of other folders see because this vehicle data folder of mine has a bunch of other folders so what I could do is like uh, hold on I could uh, add one over here here and you can select um, you know uh, drone street view or something or like just select bikes you can select multiple stuff here by the way and just have it all appear okay and then you can uh, you don't need to do this one by one you can just you know keep this button on compare files from all souls uh, okay hold on this is actually where I need to explain something um, this this is important when selecting more than one folder over here if you do this one compare files from all source folders it's gonna compare uh, it's gonna like compare the it's gonna look for duplicates across all four of these so if there's a if there's a duplicate if there's a file in in the bike subfolder that is also in the buses and cars folder then it's gonna detect that as a duplicate but if you don't want to do that um, you can enable compare only files within the same source folder so it only looks for duplicates within bikes it, then it'll only look for duplicates within buses and cars and so on and so forth okay uh, and then you can do compare only files between different subfolders so you know it's not going to look for duplicates within the bike folder it's going to look for duplicates between uh, bikes and buses and cars and it'll look for duplicates between bikes and cars and license plate and so on and so forth okay so there's a lot of options with this tool very effective um, very useful so yeah that's how the tool works hope you guys found this useful